okay so cross filter what you do is you if you want to run a report which is uh, based on the related objects okay in that case you use cross filters okay and in this case okay. we have accounts and contacts related so all the uh, contacts which are all the accounts which don't have contacts connected to them if you want to filter out or if you want to run a report based on that then you have to use a cross filter okay so okay. let's just take a look how we can do that so the uh, report that you are going to create that that report you will create on accounts okay so what we'll do is we'll create a report on accounts and we'll filter out uh, all the accounts without any contacts okay. okay as simple as that so in that case what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a new report okay okay we'll create a new report and we have to pick up account report so we'll pick up accounts okay let's try to create here So as of now, you see one button here, which allows you to add some things. So what all things you can add, you can add one field filter and we can add the cross filter. Okay, so last okay. In, in the previous class also, we saw a little bit about field filters. So that, that, that filter which was coming in between, that was the field filter. Okay. Okay, okay. So from here, you can go ahead and you can add the filters you can add either cross filter or you can add field filters okay and the maximum cross filters number of cross filters that you can add is three so at max you can add three uh, cross filters in one report and in each cross filter you can add some more field filters as well okay okay so in each cross filter you can add up to five uh, field filters okay 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 so right now it's showing all the accounts okay all the accounts and date field is created date custom from 11 so it's showing from today so we don't want we want all the time okay so created date is all the it's including everything like whenever it's created it doesn't matter so we, we have included all the accounts okay so all the okay. accounts have come here now you want to see only the accounts which are uh, not having any contacts connected to that so in that case what we will do is we will go ahead and we will add one cross filter okay so as cross filter is only based on the related objects or related records so it will automatically sense what all the related objects connected to this okay, okay. so accounts with here from here you can choose with or without okay and from here you can choose which object you want to connect it to so let's say we choose contacts okay so okay. if you see now if we go ahead and run the report it will show all the accounts with the contacts okay so if you run the report so all these accounts are having contacts okay okay but we want the accounts which do not have any contacts Okay. okay in that case we have to select without right? yes so we just have to edit okay. this and we have to change it from with to without okay. okay and then you can click okay okay and from here okay okay so now if we run the report we'll see only the accounts which do not have the contacts okay so okay. in this case the manager or the whoever is in charge they can take some action regarding this because the account which do not have any contacts then how will they go ahead and contact uh, the company to you know make them a prospect or try to sell something to them okay, okay. So whoever is in charge of that account, he will go ahead and do a follow up and ask them to uh, follow up with the account and try to get some contacts and create opportunities. Okay. 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 Like that. So let's say if, if he wants to further drill it down and see if any, uh, you know, opportunity is connected with this or not. Okay. Okay. So you can add more contact filters here if you want okay as i said under each cross filter okay you can add up to five filters okay which is okay. the field filter okay let's say okay. 
sorry now this is field filter right now you are adding yes okay yes so uh, so if you want to add another cross filter then you have to add another cross filter here okay, okay. under the cross filter you cannot add another cross filter you have to add a separate section of cross filters okay 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 so under a cross filter you can add field filters okay 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 so from here you can add some more field filters let's say if you want to categorize according to department or something then you can go ahead and do that and uh, where the lead source is coming from which is generating the blank accounts without any contact or when was that created all those things you can filter it out okay okay So if you see here, now the filters, this filter, adding filter is gray out. Because there are two types okay. of filters that you can add. One is cross and one is field. Field filter you can already add, which is related to the contacts filter. Because here we are choosing without contacts. Okay, so here you can add some contacts filter. But you cannot add another cross filter under this. Unless you go ahead and click OK, that means you are done with this. Okay, done with filtering out with the okay. cross object. Then only you can add another cross object another cross filter okay. Okay. okay so let's say uh, what we want to do is we want to add another uh, filter saying uh, let's say we have accounts with, uh, without contacts so these are the accounts which do not have any contacts and if you want to see if these accounts have any opportunity or not okay yes. so in that case because opportunity is also related to your uh, to account okay so account is parent for opportunity as well as for contacts okay so let's say now if you want to filter out some accounts with uh, opportunity we want to see if we have any opportunities under this or not okay so opportunities if you want to add some more filters to opportunity uh, we want to see only the open opportunities okay so okay. let's say we will put some stage here and put equals to whatever is open okay so whatever it it is open so instead of choosing everything from here apart from closed one and closed lost we can say here not equals to stage not equals to closed one and lost yeah closed one and closed lost so we'll insert the selected and we'll click ok then this filter is logged then you can add another cross filter like maximum three cross filters you can add Okay. okay now if you run the report so these are the ones okay these are the only ones which has the um, which does not have any contact connected to it and which still has open opportunities okay okay so he can send a follow-up to whoever is the account owner or whoever is the opportunity owner and follow-up email will be sent maybe based on the approval pro maybe based on uh, workflow rule or something and then uh, further action will be taken Okay. Okay. So once we have logged these two cross filters, then we can go ahead and we can add another cross filter. Okay. So if you want, we can add the third cross filter. And in the third cross filter, we can say something like uh, accounts with, uh, let's say, activities. Okay. Let's see if there are any activities or not. Okay. And uh, task equals to or some activities let's say okay let's say task only let's say if somebody is working on this account or not if there are any tasks connected to it or not okay, okay. so then we click okay so as of now there is no record here okay so if we run the report then all our filters are connected see accounts without contacts and accounts with opportunities and account with activities so here instead of and if you want you can change it to or as well okay 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 and that means it will be either this or this yes. or this yes correct so okay. if you go here if you run the report the, the it was showing see right now if you see the set here okay it's not including the other one okay account without the contacts 
okay so if you include account uh, without contacts or or accounts with open without opportunities then both will be included so it could be this or this okay okay so if you want we can go ahead and save this report and we can save this report as let's say account without contacts or we can say maybe neglected accounts okay and you can put it in wherever folder you want depending on the uh, usage of this report if you want to send it over to them somebody else also you can go ahead and do that and we can save and we can run the report okay okay so once we save and we run the report as of now we don't have any records here okay because probably no activity is open <coughs> in this particular so can we send this blank reports also like there are no records as well if you schedule it yeah you can do that so it will show no records it will show the field types all these fields included it will show but it will show that there is no record okay. so it will show, send the exact same same report okay 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 so all right let's try to create another report okay so another report what we can do is we can we can work on some cases here okay let's say we can create one new report and what we can do is we can open some customer support report and we can go to cases if you don't know where the particular object report is situated you can just type it in here okay and you will be populated the report and we'll create it okay so as of now there is no filter here just uh, all the open date is like whenever it was opened including all the time okay and all the cases in, uh, are included in this particular report so right now it's a simple tabular report without any grouping okay, uh, okay. so it's just showing a blank uh, or a simple plain report with all the cases included in it okay now what we can do is uh, let's say we can see if uh, this particular uh, or what we can see is we can filter out using the uh, if if the cases are closed or not okay so okay. We, if you want to see all the uh, maybe closed uh, filters which were closed uh, maybe in the previous quarter or maybe in the previous fiscal year okay so we okay. can filter out the previous fiscal year okay and between that you can also filter out according to the dates okay so we are open date instead of open date we can say close date so all the uh, cases that were closed okay during the previous fiscal year so all those cases will be here okay okay so let's try to run this report so as of now there is no record here so what we can do now we can say open date only okay now we'll run the report so so many cases are open but they were not closed okay okay so it was open uh, maybe in the lab, uh, previous fiscal year and it has still it is still under the open status so let's say you want to uh, check um, the priority of those cases as well like why were they not open and what is the priority if there are any high priority cases or not okay in okay. that case what you can do is you can group these by priorities okay so but in tabular format you don't have any grouping there's no grouping allowed in the tabular format so just a simple tab okay. tabular report so for that you have to go for a summary report 
So anytime if you want to customize a report, you can change the type of the report. Okay, so you can change it to summary. Okay, and now if you see the drop zone is present here. So if you want, you can show the drop zones or if you want, you can also hide the drop zone. Okay, but that doesn't mean that dropping is not allowed. You can still go ahead and drop those, drop the fields. Okay. okay. So let's say uh, priority. So if you bring priority here, okay, we can drop it. Okay, in the drop zone. As of now, there's no record showing here. That's why it's not coming. So we'll show the drop zone here and we'll add the priority. Okay, so now it's categorized according to the priority. Okay. Okay, okay. So now if let's say uh, we want to hide the drop zone. Okay, so um, okay, so we have one filter here and we have one grouping also. Okay, okay, that's fine. So let's say we want to add some more grouping to it. Case owner, all of them will be same only because uh, there's only one user in this org. Uh, let's hmm. say case number, status. Okay, we can group according to status as well. So now if you see here, automatically the grouping will be shown by the, the what do you say, the columns showing here. So if you drop here, you can also go ahead and drop according to this. Okay, so now here another grouping is there, which is showing the status. So these many are closed. Okay, these many are new cases and these many are closed. Okay, so there are two types of grouping. So what we can do is we can show the drop zones now. So there are two groupings here. So one is the uh, status and one is the priority. So now if we want to change it to let's say matrix format. Okay, so when you change it to the for matrix format, then the first group, so first grouping whatever we did, that group will be changed to the row grouping. Okay. Okay, because in matrix we have two types of grouping. One is row and one is column. So the first grouping yes. that we did, yeah, that will change into the row grouping. And the second group that we did, and that grouping will be changing into column groups. Okay, so let's try to change it to matrix mode. Okay. So now if you see here, one grouping is changed uh, according to the uh, rows and one is according to the columns here. Okay. Okay. okay, so here one priority grouping is there, which is on the column side here and on the, so the rows are uh, grouped according to the priority and the columns are grouped according to the status. So new, closed, so these many are there. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. So this was all about grouping. Okay. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> there's another thing that I want to show you. See, uh, in the tabular report, okay, if you want to include them in the dashboard, then there are certain criteria or there are uh, certain limitations that you cannot include all the reports into dashboard or create charts for all the reports. Okay, okay. so the types of report that allow the maybe creating the charts Okay, yeah, for the tabular report, for the tabular type report, you cannot go ahead and create the report charts. Okay, the funnel chart that you created in the last, I uh -huh. think, the previous class, that you cannot do for the tabular format. Ah, correct. I tried, but it is not showing. Yeah, so it will not show for the tabular format. Okay, yes. because probably uh, there's, there should be some filter condition required or there should be some grouping done. Okay, only grouping then you can go to, Yeah, so for the grouping only, you have to create one charts okay and uh, like in the dashboard in the dashboard you cannot add the joint reports we have not seen dashboard yet but we will be seeing in future okay. okay so in the joint report you cannot add them in the dashboards okay so similarly like that 
okay and the cross object formulas or uh, formulas you cannot apply in tabular okay and just like that I don't know what uh, okay so about the formulas and cross object formulas you cannot apply you can apply the cross object formulas only in the join report okay okay so we will see all these things okay Okay. okay so we can go ahead and maybe save this report so what we can okay. do is we'll save it as rarity open cases okay we can save in and run, run the report okay so now the report is ready so if you want you can go ahead and uh, schedule the report okay you can, you can schedule it according to the future runs whatever timings and whatever date you want let's say you want to run the report every friday or something before the end of the week if you want to check then you don't have to go ahead and create the report every time you can go ahead and you can schedule it okay and okay. accordingly if you want to add some more filters then you can add more filters as well and all the reports that is created and the dashboard they are dynamic in nature that means so whoever person who is logged in to this org who is running the report okay so they will be the one according to whom the report will be formatted okay okay so let's say I don't have uh, maybe uh, permission for a couple of fields to if I don't have access to those fields then those fields will not be coming in my report okay okay, okay. and this every report is run okay and the report is run as the person who is logged in okay 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 and if you want to like see only the summary of that particular report then you can go ahead and hide the details and all the records that are showing here the records will be hidden and only the summary fields will be showing here and it will show how many new are there how many closed are there depending on what all priorities there okay okay and the total will be shown here okay so let's say if you want to show more details and if you want to depending on the priority or the grouping that you have done okay you want to see only according to one particular priority or one particular grouping then that also you can go ahead and do that and the, for that you can choose drill down okay mm -hmm. let's say if you want to see only the high priority cases you can just choose this and you can do drill down here okay so it will show you only the high priority cases okay 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 now if you want to schedule this for a future run then what you can do is you can go ahead and schedule it from here so you can uh, set up the frequency how often do you want to schedule this report and run it okay and uh, see here you have running user so depending on the if you don't uh, so depending on the person you want this to run okay so you can choose the user from here and it will run according to that particular person okay okay so as of now in this developer org the only person who can create or only user who can create the report is me these are the um, these are the users but they will not be able to create any reports okay or create any uh, what you call the opportunities or cases okay they can't do that okay and if you want to email this to somebody else that also you can go ahead and do that you can create some groups and maybe for your team you can create some groups and you can send it to the whole group okay sending as a reminder or something you can go ahead and do that or you can send it to some particular user also which is there in your org okay okay and how the report will be uh, they will receive email right yes how that report will be it will be like uh, kind of a chart thing they will receive or else direct they get a link and they will log in into sales so then they can see the report which one you which you prepared earlier okay let's try to send a report okay and we'll see what it looks like okay 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 
so okay or you can send it to me only it will be same okay so So if we run the report right now, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to run it or send it, if it's going to send it exactly right now. Okay, depending on yeah, the availability of the it will prefer time. Mm. Okay. Time, let's say, we will say 8 p.m. Then it might schedule for that. Okay. So whenever I'll receive this report, I'll open it and I'll show it to you. Okay. 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 I think that will be uh, in this format, I guess, like priority open case setting. Yes. And this window will be there, I guess, maybe. Yeah, this, it will be in the same format. Okay. Okay, it will be in the same format. Okay, and, uh, okay, this is what it will look like. But on that, you will not be able to uh, apply those filters and all. Okay, so the data will be there, the fields will be there, but you cannot do more grouping and filter. You cannot customize it directly from the report. Okay, from the one which is sent to you on the email. Okay. Okay, okay. so in this example, what we have to do is we just have to, uh, so this example, basically what we're trying to find is we're trying to find all the opportunities which are to be closed in the next 30 days. And if somebody is following up on that, on those opportunities or not. Okay. So I, okay. So let's try to go ahead and run this report. So we'll go to reports and we'll create a new report. Okay. And this report is we will open a accounts and in that account, we will go ahead and create a report. So now if you create, here it's just showing only the accounts which is created date from this range. So we don't want that. We can just remove this filter. Okay, so now it's just simply showing all the accounts here. Okay, but we want to filter out the opportunities in this particular account which are open. Okay, and which are to be closed in the next 30 days. Okay, so what we can do is we can add one cross filter here. Okay, so we are uh, going to open uh, accounts with opportunities here. Okay, so you click OK. So these are, these are the accounts which has the opportunity. Okay, but if you want to see only the opportunities which are getting closed in the next 30 days. Okay, so in that case, what we'll do is we'll add one filter here. We can edit this and we can add one filter. Now, if you see, as we are un editing this particular cross filter, it's not letting us allow any uh, allow to create any more filters in this or maybe create more uh, field filter or cross filter from field filter here from here you can add okay you can add more opportunities field filter but you cannot add more cross filter when you are already editing this okay so what you can do is you can add one opportunity field filter and opportunity let's say what we can say is close date equals or Okay. Close date equals or less than or equal. You can say maybe till thirty first. 
okay so okay. whatever open opportunities are there with the close date which is before this date it will go ahead and it will show okay okay and if you want to further uh, categorize it you can opportunity close date uh, less than or equals you can say maybe greater than the date from this date so all the opportunities which are to be closed between this date and this date it will show you okay okay so as of now i don't think i'll have this any any records which is under this category so we'll just remove this particular filter and we will click okay okay so now if you go ahead and if you run the report okay now it is showing only the uh, accounts which has open opportunities and which are to be closed before the end of this month. Okay. okay. So here if you see it's filtered by the accounts with opportunities. Okay. And the close date is less than or equal to the uh, end of this month. Okay. okay. So now if you want to see if any open activity, if somebody is following up on these open opportunities or not, if the manager wants to see then what he will do, he will go ahead and customize this report and he will add another cross filter from the filter section here. So he'll add another cross filter and here we can do accounts with let's say activities. Okay. So inside activities you will come, uh, you can include uh, cases. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, so only these many have activities connected to that. Okay, okay. If you edit this if you want to add more filter, or if you have any task connected to that, okay, then that task will be that means it's a follow up task. So somebody is trying to follow up. Okay, so under, under this activity, you can have some tasks also. So we'll remove that as of now. So if any activity is related to these accounts which have open opportunities, they will be included in the report. Okay. So then that person can go ahead and run the report. And if you see these many accounts are there where the opportunities are open and uh, there are follow up tasks. Okay. But these many, only these many are having follow up tasks. He wants to see that which are not being followed up. Okay, so somebody so that he can assign those uh, accounts to people who can follow up. So in that case, what we have to do is we have to exclude these ones. Okay, we have to exclude them. Instead of accounts with activities, we have to do accounts without any activities. Okay, so in the cross filter, you can do two type of filters. You can include that particular uh, child object or you can exclude that. So it's using with or without. Go ahead and do that. Okay. So you can click OK. So these are the ones which are neglected. Nobody is following up with these opportunities belonging to these accounts. Okay. So these accounts will be assigned to people and they will be doing follow up. Okay. 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 So if he wants to um, like categorize according to the high priority. Okay. So that priority and everything they can include from here. Okay, you can add the field and you can add the filtering. In the tabular, it will not allow any group, grouping. So you can go and you can change the summary, uh, change from tabular to summary and then you can add the filters. Okay, you can add the grouping. So as of now, we'll go ahead and we'll save this report and we will say neglected opportunities. Okay, and you can save and you can run the report. Okay. Okay. So he can reschedule and he can run it every uh, maybe week, every Monday, and he can assign these or maybe he can uh, send it to his group or his team members so that they can have an idea like these many are the ones and we have to work on these. So like that, he can go ahead and manage using this report. Okay. okay. So customizing this and uh, creating new reports, all this is very simple. Okay, all drag and drop functionalities are there. You can easily go ahead and drag it and drop it wherever you want and you can group them. Okay, you can create these many types of reports. Okay. Okay, so as of now, you have any questions related to this report? 
those were the only thing uh, i need to know is what kind of reports uh, uh, in real time they used to prepare mm-hmm. or, or on that basis i can use this uh, I, on that basis i'll try to learn these filters mm-hmm. okay okay so now it's fine whatever you whatever you told it's very helpful for me okay because yesterday what i was showing about, uh, yesterday what i saw is uh, even those guys were also using filters mm-hmm. and uh, today you told some filters so that is very helpful for me okay, okay. because there uh, the filters were not explained properly mm-hmm. today i got it right okay 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 okay, nice. okay. so uh, we will further drill down the uh, the reports okay we have not seen the reports Uh, very well we need to see more about uh, how to you know use summary and even join reports okay and then creating okay. charts that also we have not seen properly so okay. there's a difference between charts and dashboard okay we'll see all that in next class okay in details sure sure okay. and we'll see the uh, join report as well because we did not explore join report properly so we have to drill down further okay Okay so as of now for today uh, that's all i have if you want to add something you can include or if you have any questions you can let me know okay or try to practice some examples with this uh, simple tabular and uh, grouping reports okay and see if you come up with any doubts and let me know sure i'll okay okay uh, okay okay that's it and about today's call you will let yes. me know later right in the evening i'll let you know uh, okay whether we are going to put up that class the requirement that you had okay okay so i'll give you the timings according to that you can join sure okay okay okay, okay. yeah bye thanks okay bye bye